Okay guys, first clip of the week, I decided to show off the neck section because someone's trying to stash some stuff up here it seems like. I went to look for the Star Wars section, but they like don't have it anymore. Anyways, they're stashing this way, it looks like a war machine. Uh, I haven't seen them in person. I don't plan on picking up any of this wave except for like Beta Ray Bill if he's like half off. I she probably never will be, so therefore I won't be picking up probably any of this wave, but I don't know. He's here, that's kind of cool. This unit looks pretty cool, I just don't collect really MCU stuff. I think that to go on sale extremely bad, but yeah, I never did show this off. I thought this was old, but apparently this is new. I do like how it looks, but uh, I'm trying not to collect too much NECA because I don't know, it's not really what I collect too much other than like some of the video game stuff, which I still do want to get those at some point. But one day they'll go on sale because no one's buying them, I swear. And then, yeah, the anime section, not too crazy much here. Um, I'm hoping one day I'll be able to find the new one that came out of the rock dude, I already his name. And some people are playing this for clearance right now, which that would be kind of cool. I never really plan on picking him up if I cap off. I mean, why wouldn't I? Uh, let's see, do they have any other new one? They got Look at the side, actually. Uh, no. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything I have here. They had a couple of the other new Avengers wave stuff at there that, uh, what they have? Shuri and I think Loki they had. But that's not really awesome. I don't know what happened with the Star Wars section. They're like redoing it. All the stuff is falling over right here. They're like redoing the Star Wars section. Like it's like all gone. It's like a pretty much of video game stuff there. So I don't know what's going on over there. Let me get a quick rush out of it. Yeah, it's all gone. It used to be like where that person is, but it's gone now. So that kind of sucked. I have to check mine now after this because I want to see what's going on. If they're getting rid of them. At all of them are moving them or what so yeah uh next clip i will show you guys more on this adventure of where is the star wars figures going because i hate my life all right so this isn't like anything here but it's interesting they're like if you ever call the last clip they like moved everything around now like this is the star wars section i guess this is star wars but like, it's filled with fortnite figures and roblox i don't know if that's moving but behind it if everything goes well be legend which is uh kind of well that's work i have to do walking around which is nice i guess something that's weird i just know it's this like a fucking meme is this like a meme or something why are they making figures of this like they look like just shit can someone tell me why I, I, I. Right, well that's pretty much all that's here i've seen well, Really sad. It's more sad than actually bought one. But what are you getting at? Don't buy these. Anyway, I guess next clip where I hopefully found something newish, cool. I have it. It's like a new week, but it's the same clip because I knew a video last week. I didn't really find anything. But this week's already selling off with a bang. I just went and got coffee and decided to take a check. And they have one to go wave here. This is the only one, though, sadly. But it's pretty cool. I do. If I find that Nightcrawler, I stick to what I'm really looking for. Maybe Mr. Sinister. This Wolfie's pretty cool, but I want a regular Wolfie before I start delving into different Wolfies. Like you hear the kid over there. But uh, maybe they have other stuff, maybe. The truck? Yeah, that's really cool. The truck's cool. expensive, but you can have it. Come on, Liam. Come on, I don't see no problem. we can, uh. Take a hope and hope that Star Wars stuff is here. <laughs> that would be pretty dope if they had Star Wars figures. No, they do not. I never will. I might drive to another Target to check about the Wendigo Wave stuff. I do really want Nightcrawler before it gets super expensive. So, yeah, I might do that after this. I was going to go home and play my new game, but priorities. So, let's go check that out and hopefully we find more. Right, well, this is a little bit of a different kind of spot for me to hit up, but uh, I'm at a five below right now, and I have a really good deal on some games. Uh, like Zelda for five bucks on the 3DS. I'm definitely picking this up. Same as Animal Crossing, I'll probably pick that up. And Yokai Watch, which I don't know, this first one, I don't know if that's good of a deal, but uh, these two are really good deals for five bucks. I straight went to highlight it to show it off. Uh, it's, I'll say this like my Animal Crossing collection, but this is Zelda I'm really excited to get. I totally forgot this game existed, so it's pretty hype for five bucks. And I know there's like other games you can get to in the variation of these like 3DS assortment. This is like one of the best versions of the assortment to get. So if you guys are interested, go check it out. And I don't know, maybe they'll have, I guess I'll see if they have Legends of Black Series real quick. 
you know, sometimes they do weirdly have them. I got some black series here. I think it's more for the Rogue One wave, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, yeah, if you're interested. But really just want to highlight the game for the five bucks. And uh, yeah, check it out if you're interested. On to the next clip, I hope we found something equally as cool as this. Hey everyone, new clip. Uh, I'm at the Target I was where I just found Wendigo X Men. A few days later, I plan on going to another one or two targets tomorrow, but for now, they have some pretty cool stuff here. This is pretty much all that's new, but it's definitely worth it. I do already have the. What's it? Cyclops. And that's the only one I kind of want to, but it seems like they have more than just Cyclops. So let's take a look at it. Face man looks pretty cool. I could have got him for like five bucks a long time ago in Toy Dresser's clothing. I passed on it. Uh, Dazzler, whatever. I got Cyclops, which I already showed Kate in the video. And you have Wolverine. I think, I don't know what version that is. It looks pretty cool nonetheless. And it looks like they're just missing uh, Silver Samurai and Storm. Yeah, so the one I'd be really interested in is Storm. But they don't have her. Well, I might be getting rid of my X-Men soon. I haven't really decided yet. Because, I don't know, I kind of just want to focus on one team, which would be Spider-Man is the most important. It'll give me more room for my, my Persona stuff. But I haven't completely decided yet. But if I do find Nightcrawler, I'm definitely picking that up. It's just really cool, really nice packaging. Um, everyone's seen these to death already, but I started to show them off because they haven't really seen them on my channel. I've seen a few of these before, but I don't really like filming at GameStops, so it's giving a nice proper introduction. I guess I'll just. Actually, I probably won't keep going to the Star Wars section for one, I already know there's nothing there. The second one, I think there's a family over there looking at them, so that's kind of creepy. I hate when that happens. I guess I'm going to look at the DC stuff real quick, and they don't have any of the new stuff. Alright, I'm going to cut it here and go to the next clip, and hopefully, I find Nightcrawler would be pretty dope. Right. I know I don't really show this stuff off, but I'm a fan of Lego, so I like to show off when new Lego stuff comes up if I notice. Uh, they have the hidden side stuff here. This has been out for like a week or two, but these are really nice sets. These are like a phone app to like make this set like interactive for people. And they're really nice sets. You got a nice bus here. I'm kind of tempted to get these, but I don't just have room for these right now. I'm trying to limit the Legos I get. I still haven't built like the last Overwatch ones I got, even though they have some really nice new ones coming out. But a train. It looks like they're missing a couple of them. This one. Oh, I've seen this one actually. Oh, this is like the graveyard. They have a giant school, which is the big one. Yeah, it's like it's sold out. It's kind of cool. It seems like I guess they're doing well. And they have a few other ones I know they had. So it seems like they're selling, which is pretty cool. These are really nice. Uh, look them up, I guess. They have some like new Ninjago stuff. I'll just keep showing this off. Uh, yeah, it's some new stuff. I decided to show that off to people who might be interested. Just cool and inside stuff. So yeah, I'm just kind of looking for. Hopefully they have some, I know some places are going to clear in Star Wars, so keep an eye out if you're into that like me. But yeah, I just want to show them off real quick, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Right here, everyone, this is probably the last clip area for the week. I do see some interesting stuff here, but I'm probably not going to check the Target too much. Ooh, Lego set. Not a bad deal. Six bucks off. But uh, they have this here, a lot of these. I know people find these on sale, so I don't know if it's 25 or 40. It's probably 40, but... I'm interested. If it's 25, maybe I'll buy it. I just bought something kind of expensive, like I haven't five minutes ago. What these weird kids figures? Why wouldn't kids want to play with kids figures? The store was that time with the family over there, not the kids coming over here. And also, I have uh, this, which is horrifying. Oh, I feel like shit. But God, I'd look pretty hot in there. I'd, call, uh, I'd, I'd smash me in that. Uh, yeah, I guess they have like a video game section here now, which is a year to just like. YouTubers and random games that I've never even heard of. Like, I'm guessing this is like a YouTuber. They have like this disgusting fucking thing. Yeah. Did it take oh, on Twitch on here actually? No. Yeah. These are pretty dope. Man, wouldn't you want these? You know what? Oh god, these are fucking disgusting. Ew. Ooh, that's fucking gross. I'm gonna do a Ninja Guys play to Comic Con next week. Yeah, I can deserve to say player. Uh, yeah, so. These are actually kind of interesting. Not like, they don't look good, but like, these are like weird, like, pop things they're doing of like, a YouTuber. I saw these online. The Lyric, Dr. Disrespect, he hits his wife, and then Ninja. It's so weird. Anyway, yeah, I want to show the I'll just do the story so I can show it off after that. It's probably gonna be the last clip to I do my showcase of what I picked up. That's like a week and a half, so yeah, we'll figure out what that went. But if it is, see you at my house. Hey everybody, it's everyone's favorite part of this video. What I wasted my money on this week. This camera is extremely, extremely high up. I'm gonna 
tilt that bad boy down. You almost get a down shirt shot of me, which people would pay good money for. This is still a pretty trash angle, but deal with it, because I, I don't feel like fixing it. Anyways, uh, yeah, I picked up some good stuff. I knew a video last week that I saw. I did a unboxing type of video. Let me know how that went. A few people watched it. It seemed people might like liked it. A couple likes on it, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I did that kind of video. I really didn't get a lot of footage last week, so I, I put it this week's footage and last week's footage. I'm putting it into one bad boy, one juicy little video, and it made for a pretty decent haul. Cause also last week, I didn't really get a lot of stuff other than uh, Gomez, for the most part, that comes to my mind. A lot of the stuff I ordered and I just got in this week, so I'm excited to show it off. But uh, off the bat, I guess I'll show off the game. Then we'll do like some books and some other stuff. Now I'll go into the figures, because I have some pretty cool figures this week. Uh, first off, I got Enter the Gungeon on Switch. I had this pre-order. Uh, this game that's, might be actually pretty hard to find. I looked like recently, like after I picked it up, see like, if there's any other game stops in that has it. And none of them had it, so it was kind of weird. But yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm excited. I like it so far. It's pretty fun. Uh, comes with some cool little extras. Since it's an indie game, you usually come with extras. You can like, make your own like paper craft with like, the main character, which is like a bullet you play as. And it comes to the original soundtrack, which is a pretty good soundtrack. All I'm going to dwell on that. If you know this game, you know it. If you don't, check it out because it's really cool. Um, next up, I got these at my local Salvation Army. I usually check there like once or twice a week when I get coffee because it's next door. And I usually have to park in that parking lot anyways if I want to turn left out of there. So I pretty much am just parked. Just sometimes I usually, sometimes they go in. And this week actually turned out really well. They had a, some guy like doing like his whole PSP collection or something. It was a pretty, I picked up most of the good games. Uh, I got to offer $2 each. $2 each, which is a pretty good deal. And I picked up first, I got Wretched and Clank Size Matters. I guess this is about like an $8 game. I got God of War Chains of Olympus. And this is about a $10, $10 to $12 game. And I got Secret Agent Clank, which is also about a $6, six to $8 game. Which, these are all complete. These are all games I really like. I'm not really going for a huge PSP collection. I'm kind of just picking up games that are nostalgic for me. Or the Metal Gear stuff, which we'll get to in a second. But yeah, I really like these. Uh, I don't know, there's not too many other PSP games though, other than like the Persona games, a couple of the Metal Gear Solid games I'm missing, but other than that, there's not really that many PSP games I still need, so it's pretty exciting, really happy with these. Always like picking up new PSP games, because just, I don't know, they're cute. I like picking them up, they're fun. Uh, another thing I'm looking at over here, this is a really random pickup. I picked up a lanyard, which I don't know why I'm pointing this out, but it's an Atari lanyard with, with a centipede. Comes a cool little like keychain. I usually like buying a new lanyard whenever I go to a new convention if they have badges. And yeah, I'm going to a convention this week. It might have been these badges, but it's why I'm going to it in like October, which is, I'm pretty sure uses badges. So yeah, I just got a new lanyard for cause like three bucks. So I showed off right now. It was in my hand. Next up, I show this off in the clips. Uh, five below, they have five dollar 3DS games, and I picked up Legend of Zelda, uh, Triforce Heroes, which is a really weird Zelda game. And Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. That's what it's called, right? Yeah, Happy Home Designer. Uh, no desire really to play this. I kind of just picked up Animal Crossing. I like Animal Crossing, so I'll start with my Animal Crossing games. And I know this at the time. It comes to an Amiibo card. So I'm kind of curious what that is. I might actually open this up to... Weird. I might open this up to see what that's all about. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Five bucks each. Check it out. It's a pretty good deal. Next up, uh, I picked up... This is a thing I teased last week. Uh... I, when I said I went to, uh, or not last week, last haul video, uh, I teased that I got something off Facebook Marketplace for really cheap. It was a really good deal. But I didn't want to show, you, show it yet because it wasn't complete at the time because I ordered a part of it. And I'm glad to show it off something I'm super excited to get. I guess it's kind of a grill. I just banged my foot against my chair and it hurts really fucking bad right now. It hurts. But uh, I'm going to keep going because I'm a trooper. I picked up a PS1 copy of Metal Gear Solid Black Label. This is like a forty to like thirty to fifty dollar game. I got this for at the end of it like twelve bucks. I got the game, the case. This is like never played before. The guy said he never played it really, and it shows he it did like one or two tiny scratches on the first disc. The second disc is pristine. Like he never got to the second part of the game. But uh, yeah, got that. Uh, what I had to pick up, I had to buy a manual on eBay, which is uh, pretty nerve-wracking because uh, if I didn't find this one listing, I would have been spending about like 20 to 15 bucks, which at that point is kind of the cost of the game. It's still a good deal, but you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm wheeling and dealing with this Metal Gear clutch. I'm not looking to spend a lot of money on this stuff. But I ended up finding a copy from actually a sponsored, like one of those like sponsored ones that are like, I don't know what to say, like they're like part of eBay. It's like the one that never have good deals. Like, this guy had it for like eight bucks, 
which is still a lot for a manual, and I best offered him five, so it had like two dollars shipping, so I ended up getting for like seven bucks. And it's in great condition for the manual. It's so cool to own. I flipped through it already. It was a really fun flip through because I'm a huge MGS fan. And yeah, it's really cool. I'm glad to have a complete copy for $13 or $12, how much I spent on it. And it's pretty cool too because I also have the Japanese copy of it. So it kind of goes uh, hand in hand, which is pretty fun. Now I'm only missing a couple more Metal Gear Solid games. I'm missing some of the newer ones like Ground Zeroes and Five because I have them digital. Uh, I just need to pick them up at some point. And then I'm missing like. I think there's like one called like Metal Gear Substance on the PS1 and like two of the PSP ones and that's really it for all like the single ones and there's obviously like different variations on each system and there's the one for the GameCube which is really expensive and there's one on the Game Boy which is really really expensive so that's going to be like a one that I would not be buying for a few years so I get an actual job same with the N I don't know how much the NES ones go for but I'm guessing they go for a pretty penny hold off with me for a second I got one last game, but it will lead into something I want to talk about. I'm going to a comic convention next week, as I kind of already hinted at before. And there's a few people I want to meet there, so I plan on getting like two autographs. Uh, I'm buying a lot of figures. I've been saving up for the past few weeks. And I did just sell my X-Men figure collection for about one thirty, about. So I'm going to be using pretty much most of it, all that money to fund my uh, figure buying at the con and some of the tip money I made the past like week and I have like a few more days I can make tips so at the end of it I'm hoping to get around like 220 240 maybe 250 at the end of it for spending money uh, hopefully I don't spend that much but if I do that'd be still pretty cool if I get some good deals but I do plan getting two autographs one of them the Metal Gear autograph the guy who voices Liquid Snake will be there who also voices more importantly that people care about that I don't care about Leonardo I'm pretty sure he voices from the Ninja Turtles but he voices Liquid Snake, and I want to meet him and get his autograph on my Metal Gear uh, PS3 Special Edition. And a more important one I really want to meet is uh, the voice of Raz Sputin, you know, everyone's favorite video game character. He's most known for voicing, I think he voices Billy from Billy and Mandy and Invader Zen, which I'm a huge fan of too. But he voices Raz, and I really wanted to get him to sign a copy of Psychonauts. I didn't have a copy of Psychonauts because I have it digital. So I ended up finding a really good deal on a really weird Psychonauts item that I did not know existed. That is a PC box version of Psychonauts. It's not in the best of shape. It's not all damaged up top and stuff. I paid, I think like, I paid seven bucks for this shipped, which is actually a really good deal. It just goes for about like 20, 30 on eBay I was looking at. So yeah, seven bucks is a really good deal. I uh, can't complain too much. It's complete. Everything on the inside is complete. The structure manual is in really good shape and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's a really weird game on the back of it. I've never heard of. But yeah, I'm really excited to own it. I'm recently playing through it again too because I'm in the mood for Psychonauts. Give me Psychonauts 2, Tim Schafer. So yeah, I'm excited to get it. There's some like, weird like stains on the back of it too. It's like someone spilled like, a Coke on it. But yeah, I'm not going to complain. I'm excited to get him to sign it. And I just love the art on it. It's like, oh, the art on the back is so cool. So yeah, this will be a pretty cool thing to sign. And yeah, I'm going to a con next week. So expect uh next week will probably be a hunt video. But the week after will probably be the con video. I don't know how I'm going to do it exactly. It depends on how much I find next week when I go hunting but I don't really plan on picking up too much uh, okay before we get to the figure I got a few more items I picked up a blu-ray for about five bucks on eBay the laser team is a pretty decent sci-fi movie I'm a big fan of Rooster Teeth if you do not know already uh, there's a sequel to it that I own a blu-ray to it's the worst movie I've ever fucking seen in my life it's a terrible movie it's like top five worst movies I've ever seen but the first one's actually a generally solid B sci-fi movie which is a pretty fun movie if you haven't seen it I suggest watching it it's a pretty fun movie uh, next up is going to be a couple books I picked up comic wise uh, my local comic shop is sadly shutting down but I'm still going to be buying my comics through her she's just moving her online store because it makes her a lot more money apparently but uh, yeah I still get free shipping from her and stuff so whatever and if I she said if I really want to check and just like email her and we can just like meet up somewhere like at a target and just pick up the comics or go to her house and pick up the comics she lives pretty nearby but alright uh, uh I do plan on going next week because we're going to have like half off all of our books and stuff. But I did pick up one book so far. Got for 20% off. Uh, it's uh, the only manga I own that I really care to own. Dragon Ball, that time I got reincarnated as Yamcha. Plan on reading this after I finish the Poppy book. I have like two chapters left of the Poppy book I'm reading. And I'm going to read this. I already know how the, the twist ending, but it's a pretty funny twist ending. And I'm excited to see how it gets to that twist ending. And so Yamcha is my favorite Dragon Ball character, so I had to pick it up. I got it in for like seven bucks to get ten dollar books. That's pretty good. Last book I picked up was a book for my collection of Scott Pilgrim color edition. I'm trying to get all of them. I now just need one more. 
And this is my favorite Scott Pilgrim book two, uh, number volume three. Oh, this is my favorite book of all time. It's such a good volume. Oh, it had like the most special features too. It had like a few extra comics in there that he did, and a bunch of behind the scenes like art for the book and stuff. Oh, I can't wait to dig into this. I plan on rereading them once I pick them all up. I just need six now. I am watching a sale on eBay right now too for fifteen. I'm trying to get them for under fifteen. But if I have to buy it at 15, I won't care. Because I got 1 through 5 for about like 30 or 40 bucks. Which is the price of like not even two of these. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. Um, yeah, really like this one. Highly recommend Scott Pilgrim if you haven't read it. Lastly, before we get to the figures, it's one last item I'm really excited to show off. Now is a vinyl I picked up of a band I like called Beach Bunny. And this is their album Prom Queen. I'm a huge fan of this band. Uh... I found them through TikTok. I'll admit it, it's kind of cringy, but they're a really good band. And yeah, they don't really. This is they only have one record right now, and this is kind of expensive actually. Uh, they had another version of this that goes for about like a hundred on eBay right now. They did like a restock of this version for some reason, because like I guess some people canceled their order. They limited like to one per person or something. But yeah, I was able to snatch one up real quick when uh, I got an email notification that more went up on sale. And yeah, a uh, cool little. Uh, uh, vinyl looking artwork on there it comes with a digital copy just love the artwork don't have a vinyl player but I like buying these to support the artist if I like them and I uh, yeah excited to own this finally uh yeah pretty fun now we're getting to the part that people care about are the figures of course I gotta do these last because you gotta see, see the other shit I pick up I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting stuff too which I'll show off next week if I am but I picked this up today for a really good deal I got this for technically $15 I'm not gonna really get into it because I it's already going on long enough. But yeah, I got this uh, after coupons before I had like a Visa gift card uh, for $40. I didn't, I wasn't really planning on getting this. I keep talking about it every time I see it. But uh, there was some sales going on at Barnes & Noble for 40 bucks. I said, screw it. Even though I only paid 15 for it overall because I got a $30 Visa gift card from Activision. But uh, yeah, cool figure. Uh, I don't plan on opening this right now because I'm kind of it's not in the mood to, to be honest. So look forward to it next video, where I'll probably have it open and I'll have a more in-depth opinion on this. But the more I'm looking at, the more I like this figure. So yeah, pretty cool. I, I don't know why I paused there. And I also picked up another figure arts this week. Uh, Big Bad had a uh, Future Trunks on sale for like thirty bucks. I picked that up because I don't have them yet, and I always wanted that from a uh, Xenoverse Two, I believe. So I should be getting that. Whenever I get charged for the Goku I approve, that's supposed to come out in July and got pushed back to August for some reason. So, I also picked up an Uncharted figure. So, yeah, that'd be pretty exciting when I get that. Don't expect that anytime soon. It's how fast Big Bad is pre orders. But lastly, uh, I did a video on this last week, as a few of you have saw. I got my first Mezco and it's Gomez, Agent Gomez. I am loving this figure. I don't believe I'm going to pick up any more Mezco for a while because these boys are really expensive and this was like 120 at the end of it but i think i got like ten dollars in points so i don't know how the points system i got some like points too that i'll probably never use but yeah i'm really excited to get this uh i love this figure i'm probably running b-roll of it right now because it's, it's like all posed and stuff i don't want to mess with because i really like to pose this in gomez i'm really liking that figure really cool figure uh don't plan on picking up any more mezco for the time because they're worth fucking expensive but there are a few i'm interested in i mean i'm interested in the popeye because i for some reason i'm a huge fan of popeye and never knew why but ever since i was a kid i just had a big fascination with popeye also i would like to pick up space ghost at some point i don't think he's actually that expensive too it's pretty nice because I don't know. I like Space Ghost Coast to Coast a lot. And that, to me, that's not a Space Ghost figure. That's a Space Ghost Coast to Coast figure. And that's one of my favorite cartoon animated shows of all time. So, yeah, really liking this Gomez. Highly recommend it if you can somehow get it for a good price. I'm pretty sure it's going for like last I checked, like 180 to 200. But right when it was hitting, uh, people were getting it enhanced. Maybe it's gone down a bit, but I do like it a lot. Really great first mess because you can kind of see it like right here. Even though I just showed B roll of it. But. That's all I picked up this week. So remember to like, subscribe, comment down below what you picked up this week or why I am a terrible channel. I'd love to hear you guys complain about it. But uh, yeah, I like this pickup. Sorry about no hunt video last week. Just didn't find a lot last week. So it wasn't that interesting or buy a lot either last week. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, next week, as I said, I'm going to a convention. So uh, yeah, I don't know if next week's video is going to be a convention video for the week after because I'm going on Sunday. So I don't know how that's actually going to work out. Sorry, my brain died out there for a second. 
yeah, excited for that. Uh, my friend Cody, who you've seen in other convention videos I go to, will be with me. My partner in crime, my cameraman in disguise. He'll be chilling with me there. So yeah, hoping to pick up a couple figures. I guess I can't say what I'm looking for, really. As always, I'm looking for Dragon Ball figures I don't have. Uh, off the top of my head, the main ones I'm looking for right now. Super Saiyan Trunks from uh, Super is like my top right, right now. And Yamcha. Yamcha is pretty hard to find for some reason right now, though. Uh, Nappa, I've been kind of wanting Nappa a bit more recently. And what's his name? Master Roshi. I really want a Master Roshi because he's pretty cool. And Frieza and Cell. I don't have, like, any villains on my Dragon Ball shelf. I have, like, Brawly from Super. That's debatable if he's a villain yet. I, he seems like a pretty cool guy, just corrupted by Frieza. I have Kid Boo. That's a villain. And I have a Dragon Stars of Kid Frieza. So, is that a villain? Not really when he had, like, 20 of the Z fighters just staring him down. But, yeah, I'm looking for that. And I'm looking for a couple Spider-Man Marvel Legends I don't have, I guess. And just other random stuff I always pick up. I'm... Another really weird thing, I gotta say, okay, this is going on a little tangent here. Sorry for like the 25 minute video, this is interesting. For some reason, under the descriptions for like the booster, it says Disney and Marvel Studios will be there. I have no idea what that means, but I'm just gonna say it. Early showing of Fantastic Four, I'm just saying. But yeah, I don't know why this, they're gonna be there, that's kind of interesting. This is only the second year of this convention. It's a big convention, they travel around, it's like, where they're the coast, but it's like, State it's saying Comic Con, so this is like Michigan Comic Con. I, I don't know how to explain it, but been, this is their second year. It was a pretty decent one last year, and this one's way bigger, it seems like. Uh, just by floor and like map size, I looked at, so this is pretty interesting. But uh, yeah, we'll see what that boost looks like next week. I'm very intrigued by it. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna end it here, and I'm gonna do some homework and uh, play with my figures because I'm a man child. Catch you later.